I'm very proud of myself became a world champion in 2015. Today, I still carry on practicing intensely, reproducing hundreds of times the illustrations that I have in mind. I pay attention to timings of each step and executing its balance, contrast and harmony, of course, as well as the quality of the milk form and many other things. Nothing is left to chance, not even the name of my creations. For example, the peacock fly high. It represents the peacocks spread their wings and say, I can make peacock fly, and as well as myself, and I can win the title too. And the most favorite design of myself is caffeinated zebra. It's only double rosettas and a little bit of etching on it, but it's still looking beautiful and still very unique. The most challenging aspect of latte art is to create a precise design. From your imagination to the cup, you should be able to make it happen in real. I love those transferring um, procedures from the images to the existence by, for maximizing my creativity. It is also enormously important to have a better quality of milk foam by using a dry steam. I love the machine consistent extractions and consistent steam pressure. That means it's got individual boilers. I love separate boilers. In the latte art, the dry steam is really important because it can reduce the water content in the milk. So if you want to love latte art, you should have the dry steam, also the consistent extractions of the espresso, and that'll be the best part of the latte art. Some years ago, I started working as a barista. After five years, Tassos de Lechrisos offered me to be part of the underdog, where I'm still working. In 2016, I was the Greek Coffee and Good Spirits champion for the first time. And then, the same year, I became the World Coffee and Good Spirits champion in Shanghai. When I breathe in the smell of the coffee for me, it's like starting a game. It's as if I was discovering the hidden feelings that coffee gives me in order for me to explain them further to others. Every coffee can stand out at its best if combined with the right spirit. So my job consists in a consistent researching aimed at finding the right balance among the ingredients. To have a machine that allows customization of brewing, the means of pre-infusion, pressure control and temperature will guarantee the perfect extraction. In 2007, I have left my hometown in southern of Thailand to go to study English in Sydney. And that's where I found a part-time job as a barista which I was managed to brew up to four lead cups of coffee a day and that way I start to drink my first coffee. After discovering the wonderful flavor of the coffee, I want to know more about it. 
That's why I have traveled around the world for more than 30 countries to deepen my knowledge about coffee. Like some Mario, a bartender, I would love to be an expert to understand the entire process of the coffee production. Knowing that everything starts from a small green bean, understanding the volume of roasting and grinding, and in the end, discovering the strength, the intensity, and the magic of an espresso. To become the World Latte Art Champion 2017 at the World of Coffee event in Budapest was my big pleasure because since I became a barista, I have never stopped not a single day to prove myself with a better cup of coffee with new design. Every single cup is different and I put all of my passion, my dedication into it. Sometimes the mistake can give you a new perspective and all of that knowledge I used in my three coffee shop in Chiang Mai, Thailand. That's why I need a very good espresso machine to suit my passion. I would love the ideal machine to be ergonomous and I want my movements to be flawless, constant. I would love to look at my customer at the eyes. I want a rice plate. That's why I need a very sleek, low machine to help me to create and immediately contact with my customer. And for me, the Astoria Storm is the answer.